This is the voice of the Report of the Week, signing on. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone listening. It is Thursday, the 7th of September, 2017, the year being VORW Radio International's a light entertainment program featuring a mixture of my talk and commentary as well as this new requested music. We can be heard on the international shortwave frequencies of 11.580 kilohertz. 99.55 kilohertz, 94.55, 9400, 93, 95, 77, and 74.90 kilohertz. No matter how you're listening, when you're listening, or where you're listening from, I wish you good reception conditions, and I hope you enjoy this broadcast. Well, let me pull the chair out here. <coughs> this, uh... This show is going out under a unique set of circumstances. Number one, it's the latest I've ever recorded a show. It's it's 12 o'clock noon on the button on this Thursday. So if you're hearing this show at 6, I recorded this six hours before, et cetera, et cetera. And the first broadcast of the day usually goes out at 4 p.m., Eastern on 11.580 kilohertz. I don't know if I'm going to have this up for you by then. The old show goes out at 11.580. I apologize. Um, uh, you know, I hope you could forgive me. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a unique set of circumstances. And as a result, it wasn't even looking like I, I would even get a show up today. I know that's pretty crazy because it's been my job to, you know, to do a, a radio show every Thursday, and it's one of the, um, it's a very fun thing for me to do. But it's it's been a, you know, it's been a rough week. Um, I think for all of us, uh, no matter how you see it, at least it's been a turbulent week if you just look at it from the perspective of current events. You know, I remember when I woke up a few days ago. And I I checked the news, and I saw what happened in Vegas there. I couldn't believe my eyes. You know, I mean, it was just so shocking when I saw that. Uh, Then, of course, the very same day for all um, music lovers, especially rock and roll fans, um, the death of Tom Petty. An unexpected death, you can say. Um, Came as just much of a shock, you know. very surprising. You know, made a bad day already much worse. And then for me, I suffered a personal loss of my own. Um, I have a, you know, someone close to me in the family, um, in the ICU, you know, hooked up to life support came as such a terrible, terrible, terrible shock and surprise. And well, you know, one minute Seems like they're doing fine, and then the next, you know, that's where it's at. And you never expect it, you know, it hits you so hard, so fast. If you listen to these shows enough, you know, I've even done um, talks and, and lectures of my own about being prepared and trying to be, be ready for this kind of stuff, but, you know, to tell you the honest truth, when it happens, it happens, and it's, uh, it's always a shock, man. This comes as such a surprise. But anyway, but I was supposed to, you know, make some travel arrangements to, to catch a flight because I want to, you know, go up and and visit. You know, make sure uh, I want to visit the person. But, but you know, sure enough, just the way life is, that didn't work out. You know, just felt uh, felt sick. You know, probably from all the stress, anxiety, you name it. Just a lot on the uh, mind. So, now I'm trying to make alternate arrangements, um, and, you know, figure that out. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a traveler. I'm not one to travel, you know. I'm more of a stationary person myself. So, you know, traveling is never, never fun, um, for me by, by any means. Um, but anyway, so I'm working on that now, and as a result, this show was more than half of for so much of the day. Um, because I've just... You know, my mind has been in other places, and I've been just trying to hustle, you know, make some phone calls, some emails, trying to figure out, all right, um, what am I going to do, what's next, et cetera, et cetera. 
And, uh, you know, then it'll come. And in due time it will. I'll uh, get the answers and make the answers to whatever issues face me. And, uh, now I'm focusing on the show because also at the same time, now you know what's going on and what, you know, just a lot of, uh, unexpected and, and uh, shocking things. But at the same time, I remember, because I, I can, you know, put myself in your shoes as a, a radio listener, as a consumer of content. I know that there's many people out there, whether, you know, you write in or not, it's, it's all right. So I listen to this show every week, and it's something to look forward to. And it's you guys that, you know, even in times like this where, you know, sometimes I might be, uh, you know, very busy and preoccupied and stressed out, it's you guys that kind of give me the motivation to say, you know what, I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to get this taken care of and give you guys a good show and uh, give, you, give you guys something to enjoy on this Thursday. And that's exactly what my plans are, you know. I'm I'm going through my book. I think we all have our problems and issues, and I'm going to figure out these uh, travel quandaries and, uh, you know, figure out, see what happens with all of that. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to get a good show set up, produced, and sent out for all you out there who are tuned in. So anyway, I hope you could understand the, you know, the difficulties. And before we move into any music, and I'm going to get some Tom Petty played for you in this show, of course, because I was a bit of a, a Tom Petty fan myself, and admittedly, I, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to be someone who listens to every song of his, and listens to, you know, every, every, every record of his, and, and I've seen him live dozens of times, I'm not going to be one of those people, but I've listened to a number of his songs, and I've got a bunch of songs of his that I enjoy, you know, that I like. And then I'm replaying over and over, and, you know, that I find quite catchy and enjoyable. And, you know, I thought he was a good artist, very talented. And it's always sad when such a, a great musical artist passes away. Um, it's always, it's always sad, you know? So we're going to get that set up and played for you in this show. Um, then in uh, remembrance. But first, as I was talking about, and I mentioned this in a YouTube video as well, because it's something that I've talked about before. And in times like this, I think it's a good, a good thing to reinforce. We all have those of significance in our lives. And that could be anyone. The immediate family, you know, could be your your parents, your siblings, your cousins, grandparents. Could be loved ones. Could be your your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Could be anyone. But one thing that gets proven time and time again, and something that I realized this week with my own. Um, personal situation. You can't take their presence for granted. You can't assume that they'll always be there and they'll always be around. Because like everything else in this this world of ours, it's all finite. It's not going to be there forever. I think in any time of loss, it's always going to be, we always wish we could have spent more time with them, even if we spent as much time as we could. You know, we always wish we could have spent more time, we wish we could have said this and, and done that. I think we're always left with a little bit of, of regret, no matter what, um, that goes along with the sadness of these types of situations. But if they're still here, you know, make sure you don't forget about them. We might have our frustrations and our issues, just like in, in this case. You know, my travel frustrations and sometimes working with...